Okay, so I have decided to create this video because, um, well, for to demonstrate uh, the probably hardware issue with Steam Deck. The issue is that control on this side, controls on this side are not working most of time and controls on the right side are okay. So the first thing is that uh, I will enter BIOS. Uh, when you turn on the Steam Deck, it usually makes this specific sound. This one does not. And I'm not able to use the D-pad in the BIOS. What usually, mm, what usually works. Okay, let's boot into SteamOS. As you can see, I was able to confirm continue by pressing A. Okay, I've tried several fixes. Um, I've tried refreshing uh, the internal SSD with a new image, didn't work. <clears throat> I've tried as well uh, to check in options and stuff like this because I uh, really thought it will be some software issue uh, that has to do something with some kind of update, but uh, I wasn't able to make this area working again. So we are in the menu right now. I should be able to open the Steam menu by hitting this button or to move within the menu with this. Nothing works, you see. But this part is working good. You know, I can return, I can accept the English. So right now I will show you what, what makes the left side work. Okay, sometimes the left side starts to work for a while. When you reboot or suddenly it can turn off. That's, uh, that's what I figured out by playing with the system for a few days right now. And this started to happening um, the second day <clears throat> I have started to play around with, with the Steam Deck. So I'm going to shut it down. And open it up. You know, when I figure out that the problem will be hardware related, I thought about opening the unit up because uh, I didn't want to send it to RMA. And the thing is that I'm a computer technician. I've been doing this job for five or six years. And I'm experienced in laptop repairs and cell phone repairs so so i thought <clears throat> that the problem will be some loose contact or the cable isn't properly where it belongs so i've decided that i will open it up fit the cable into the connector and everything is going to be okay. I'm 
Okay, accidentally turned it on, but you could hear the chime side the sounds right now. And the reason is that I removed the back cover. Sometimes removing the back cover simply doesn't work. Sometimes it's necessary to remove this part and remove SSD to make it work. So I have checked this cables and this cable because I guess that those are connected by this one. But I really don't know where the motherboard is. I just uh, removed this, um, let's say, cooling metal pad and SSD, then it started to work. So right now, um, it was necessary just to remove the back cover and I could hear the chime sound. And when I can hear the chime sound, I definitely know that I will be able to use the right side. Okay, the, the sound is gone again, and I'm not able to use the controls, as you can see. But what definitely works, what 100% works, is to remove this. As well. Okay, let's do test, so we will find out if it's necessary to take out the SSD or not. Okay, we got the sound. So right now, I'm able to move the D-pad. Turn it off. Once more. There's the sound, and I'm able to go through the menu. So you can see, <clears throat> there is no sign of any defect or loose cable, maybe, maybe the MOBO, it's really hard question <clears throat> but I didn't ever remove this motherboard cable I just tried to reseat those connectors so let's put it back where it belongs Okay, let's let's test it right now. And the sound is gone and I cannot control the D-pad. So, so sometimes it happens when I put back this cover, 
Sometimes it happens when I receive the SSD. And sometimes it happens when I put on the back cover. <clears throat> One time I was able to make it work with the back cover and it worked for, I don't know, a day or two and then it stopped working again. So this is from my point of view, definitely hardware issue, but I don't know where to look and I don't want to change sound. And I'm able to use controls on the left side. As you can see, I'm able to use controls on the right side as well. Those are okay since beginning. The only problem is with the left side. In the last demonstration, you can see that I'm not able to move again. So maybe it's got something to do with this metal plate. And I don't know if, if some cable is whatever, making short somewhere, I don't know but there will be some hardware issue concerning this or some higher pressure when I put the back cover back to its position. So this is it. I'm gonna assemble it back together. And I would like to kindly ask you <clears throat> to send me some instructions how to send it back to Wolf so the engineers can take a look. What is the problem with this specific piece of hardware? Thank you.